integers properties of subtraction of integers let's check whether the integers are closed under subtraction or not if we subtract two integers what do we get let's see 30 minus 15 is equal to 15 we get an integer minus 55 minus minus 10 is equal to minus 45 again we get an integer let's try one more minus 10 minus 10 is equal to minus 20 and we get an integer again if we subtract two integers the result is always an integer therefore we can say that the integers are closed under subtraction commutative property let's check whether the subtraction of integers is commutative or not what will happen if we change the order of integers when we subtract let's see 30 minus 15 is equal to 15 which is not the same as 15 minus 30 which is equal to minus 15 minus 55 minus minus 10 is equal to minus 45 which is not equal to minus 10 minus minus 55 which is equal to 45 let's try one more minus 10 minus 10 is equal to minus 20 which is not the same as 10 minus minus 10 which is equal to 20 remember if we change the order of integers the answer changes while subtracting the integers the order in which they are written is important a change in the order in which they are written will change the answer therefore we say that the subtraction of integers is not commutative associative property now you know that the subtraction of integers is not commutative since a change in order changes the answer the association property does not hold in subtraction let's check it out what will happen if we subtract three integers together let's subtract these three integers 10 minus 3 minus 4 here we can form two groups to subtract the numbers first we subtract 10 minus 3 which is equal to 7 and then 7 minus 4 which is equal to 3 or we can first do 3 minus 4 which is equal to minus 1 and then do 10 minus minus 1 which is equal to 11 so you can see if we subtract three integers in different order the answer changes so the associativity does not hold in subtraction of integers the property of zero let's check the additive identity of subtraction what will happen if we subtract zero from any integer let's see 12 minus 0 is equal to 12 subtraction is the integer itself minus 3 minus 0 is equal to minus 3 therefore subtraction is the integer itself minus 20 minus 0 is equal to minus 20 subtraction is the integer itself that means if we subtract 0 from any integer we get the integer itself closure under subtraction let's write these properties using letters for integers if we subtract two integers the result is always an integer let a and b be two integers then a minus b is also an integer commutative property let's write these properties using letters for integers if we change the order of integers the answer changes let a and b be two integers then a minus b is not equal to b minus a associative property let's write these properties using letters for integers if we subtract three integers in different order the answer changes 
let a b and c be three integers then a minus b into brackets minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c into brackets the property of zero let's write these properties using letters for integers if we subtract zero from any integer we get the integer itself let a be any integer then a minus zero which is equal to a properties of subtraction of integers let's revise all the properties of subtraction let a b and c be integers then a minus b is also an integer a minus b is not equal to b minus a a minus 0 is equal to a a minus b into brackets minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c into brackets did you understand the properties of subtraction of integers yes if you like our videos do share them and subscribe to our channel if you want awesome quizzes write to us keep watching and keep learning with walnut